Good morning, Jim. Morning, Jessica. What can I do for you? Well, my publisher and his wife are coming to visit, and I'd like them to experience an authentic Maine lobster dinner. I'm kind of short on lobsters at the moment, it being early and all. I'll have more by the end of the day, once the fleet's back in. Oh, dear. They'll be here by then. Tell you what, Peter Hammond's boat is still tied up at the dock. Why don't you go talk to him? Maybe he'll be able to sell you some straight off the boat. Good idea. Thanks, Jim. So this is how you found him, Mrs. F? Yes, exactly like this. What do you think, Doc? As to what stabbed him, I have no idea. It's a very strange-looking wound. Some sort of tube, perhaps. I should think that a wound like that should have resulted in a lot more blood. Meaning? Meaning that Peter may have been killed elsewhere and brought back here. Any idea on time of death? Hard to be sure. Sometime during the overnight hours. We better have a look around to see what else we can find. Hey, what's going on? I'm afraid I have some bad news for you, Billy. Your uncle was murdered last night. What? I'm afraid it's true. Oh, man. The Lobster Pound is always the nerve center of the fishing community. We should talk to Jim Price and ask him if he knew about any tensions between Peter and the other lobstermen. And in the meantime, I better call my publisher to postpone his visit. Hey there, Jim. Do you know if anyone had any disagreements with Peter Hammond? First person who comes to mind would be Andy Winters. He wasn't on friendly terms with Peter? <laughs> More like unfriendly terms. In fact, they were downright hostile to each other. Know where we can find him? Sure. He's got a boat with the buoy and his colors mounted on top of the wheelhouse. I forget the name, but he left a picture of it around here somewhere.
According to the photo, we're looking for a boat named My Turn, with a red and blue buoy on it? I think I recognize the dock. It's not far from here. Hi, Sheriff. Jessica. What's all the excitement over on Peter's boat? Peter was murdered sometime last night, Andy. It was? Yeah, and word has it that you and Peter were not exactly friends. I wouldn't say it was any different than for other fishermen. Mostly name-calling. I'm pretty sure Peter was cutting my traps. Did getting even with Peter involve killing him? Absolutely not. Then you won't mind telling me where you were last night. I was at the Harborside Tavern all evening. Yeah? Can anyone there vouch for you? Well, sure. Had you noticed anything different about Peter? Had he been doing anything new recently? Yeah, he weaseled his way into some sort of cushy research gig with the Marine Research Laboratory. You make it sound as if earning some extra income is somehow cheating. When the rest of us are struggling to catch enough to earn a living, you can't blame us if we resented him. Especially since Peter was having a better season than us.
Andy was a little vague about his alibi for last night. And he seemed bent out of shape that Peter landed a gig with a marine research lab. I agree, which is why that should be our next stop.